by Paul Turner the 23rd of April 2018 4 33 p.m. The Bluebirds no victory at Hayes Lane will all but ensure their status in the division for next season, 7.45 p.m. Aero sit above Woking, who occupy the final relegation place, on goal difference going into tonight's game. The fixture in London is AFC's game in hand on the cards, and a win for the visitors will see them three points clear of their rivals, and with a goal difference at least ten better off. We've got to go for it, it's what we've been doing the last few games 80 panic that would mean it would take a heavy defeat against, already relegated Chester on Saturday, combined with Woking beating Dover Athletic by a big margin, for Barrow to go down. Even a point tonight would boost Barrow's cause, but manager A.D. Penick hopes they can take all three to settle the issue early and ensure their status in the division for next season, the importance of which he feels cannot be overestimated. It's massive for everybody concerned, said Penick. I've said before that we've inherited what we have inherited, and we've got four or five players in on loan who have done exceptionally well, but we have to stay in the National League. We're doing everything we can. The boys have done really well to get us out of the situation we are in, and I have been flabbergasted a little bit as to why they are in that situation, it's down to the start of the season. I've made changes since then, with people leaving and getting fresh faces and I've got to say that the boys are really digging in for the cause. They're very hungry to stay in this league. This football club, in my opinion, can be turned around. If we stay in the National League, I can't wait for next season. But I'm not counting my chickens, because in football things change so quickly. We've just got to survive and then I'll be saying a few things at the end of the season where we can go forward. Pennock hopes Barrow can build on their displays in their last two away matches, when they have beaten Geisley and drawn 1-1 at playoff bound Aldershot, the latter a result on the back of an injury time equalizer for the hosts after Bradley Boris's red card. The manager hopes to see a similar effort at Hayes Lane, where the artificial pitch is another factor to contend with for his side as well as facing a team who can climb into the playoff places with victory. We've got to go for it, it's what we've been doing the last few games, said Penick. I've been very pleased performance-wise, and we have to go in there and do the same again. There is a bit of disappointment because we conceded a late goal on Saturday, but before the game one think anyone would have taken the point because of the situation we are in. I knew Woking were going to beat Geisley, because it was Geisley's fourth game in a week, and it was a tough ask for them. So, I knew that was going to happen. In my head, if we could get any result at Aldershot then that would be massive for us. Of course we wanted three points but under the circumstances, with the red card and everything, it was fantastic point. We want to go to Bromley and get the three points, then it will be done and dusted. But we know what football is like, and we don't do anything easy. The good thing is that this is still in our hands. If we hadn't got the point on Saturday, it would have been a lot tougher. Woking have to beat over, they have to beat them or get a point, but if we can win at Bromley, which is what we are going to aim for, then that will be done and dusted.